As a gardener, you might run into the issue of wondering if you have seeds that are viable for the upcoming year. These might be seeds that you have collected on your own or seeds that you have purchased from a store. There's no date on them. You're not really sure when they were collected, how long they've been around. So a germination test is a good way to see if they are viable for the upcoming growing season. Here I have 10 seeds that I'm gonna be placing into a wet paper towel. I'll fold that wet paper towel up and then I'll place it inside a plastic bag to help retain the moisture with the seedlings. That plastic bag should be placed in a sunny spot that is also warm so we have great conditions for growing and germinating seeds. Now keep in mind with this germination test, we're simply looking at germination and we're not using these seeds for planting into the garden. Now that we have everything in the bag, it's important to remember that some seeds take longer to germinate than others. Lettuce, for example, will germinate quite quickly. Carrots, on the other hand, may take up to three weeks. What we're looking for are these seeds to produce a root and some vegetative growth. Based on this test, we'll have a percentage of germination. From this, we will know if we need to plant more seeds or not, depending on the number or percentage of seeds that germinated. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.